my friend. It's so very good to see you again. Master Cordova. It's an honor. I... I never thought I'd meet you in person. The honor is mine, Cal. Sears told me everything. You have demonstrated great bravery and wisdom in the face of overwhelming adversity. You chose well? Well, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> the Empire has claimed the ruins. We'll have to find another rendezvous point. Unfortunate. But at least the storm covered your tracks. Come. Come, let me escort you inside. Master Cordova, did you find the Zepho? Only faint traces of their passage heading deep into the unknown regions. Sorry to hear that. As it goes. Ultimately, that failure inspired me to seek out other Jedi survivors. That search led me back to my old apprentice. See you waiting. How have you been preparing, Captain? That doesn't sound good. I've had a few scrapes, but I'm still breathing. And I'm glad for it. I heard some news about a Jedi terrorist on Coruscant not long ago. You were on Coruscant? Uh -huh. dreaming? Sorry, coming. This base is well hidden. Yes, well the Empire's presence has grown these past years. They are much too strong to fight directly, but we do what we can. It is critical, of course, that our work remains secret. What work exactly? Better to ask Seer yourself. Meanwhile, Marin and I will greet our new arrivals. So, how was the desert? Cold, stormy, and too many Imperials. Mm, not my preferred weather forecast. But more common by the day. Where did you weather the storm? A cave past the old market. Our spammel friend showed us the way. You have a habit for making new friends wherever you go. A survival instinct, perhaps. I intercepted some Imperial communications. Your reputation is growing. Was there fear in their voices? Quite a bit, yes. Good. How are you feeling? Better. That tea you brought me was wonderful. Can't use this lift yet.
Just keep trying. It's not like Brother Armai has to break contact. Cal Kestis. Welcome to Jeddah. I knew the storm wouldn't deter you. You're rebuilding the temple archives. Well, we're trying. As long as this knowledge remains, the legacy of the Jedi survives. It's incredible. Hmm. But something tells me there's more to this than just hollow books. Yes. We're a part of a network known as the Hidden Path. We provide safe passage and new identities to those who have been persecuted by the Empire. Hunted by the Empire, like... like Jedi survivors? Very few of us remain. But yes, and Force sensitives, and those who help them. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> you never asked. Besides, I hear you've been busy making yourself the Empire's most wanted. I wanted to prove to the galaxy that the Empire isn't invulnerable. That you can resist. That you have to fight if things are gonna get better. But then they just listen to the propaganda and they pretend they're free anyways. Hmm. Yeah. You chose a hard path. And it hasn't made a difference. Well, while the Empire's trained its eyes on you, we've been able to build the network. Find allies. And save lives. When you left, thought you'd just given up. I was wrong. Cal, you were just a child when they sent you off to war. You know, there was a time when I remember that the Jedi were more than just weapons. But... We both have our roles to play in this struggle. Yeah, but that's why I'm here. Seer. Well, you get a load of this! Hey, Seer, you can't say it ain't short of personality, <laughs> but kind of creepy, though. <laughs> well, it's good to see you too, Grease. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, hello, uh, Beanie. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, how was your time in the desert? The storm covered our tracks, but... The Empire destroyed one of your speeders. It's a small price to pay for everybody's safe arrival. And who's this? This is Bodokuna. He is a friend. It's so nice to finally meet you. Uh, this hunk of trouble! <laughs> hey! We're all together! Huh? Yes. Now, what brings you all to Jeddah? We're searching for a lost planet. Tantalor, you ever heard of it? It's on the other side of a deadly nebula called the Kobo Abyss. Well, our archives are far from complete, but I'm sure Master Quarto is up to the task. With pleasure. The trouble is, we're not the only ones looking for this place. I knew this was sounding too easy. Guy's name is Dagon Gera. He was a Jedi. Now he leads a band of raiders on the Outer Rim. There's an old temple there. Dagon intends to reclaim it. A Jedi temple out of the reach of the Empire could mean that there's information there that we don't have in the Archive. I believe I have something. <laughs> oh, you're too kind, BD. <laughs> I'll start with the bad news. Oh, boy. This guy knows his audience. <sighs> I found no information related to crossing the Kobo Abyss. However, I found two mentions of this Dagon Gera. He had a retreat on Kobo. The records show him frequently visiting a laboratory on its moon. Okay, we'll check him out. If you find anything, bring it to me. I am happy to assist further. Thank you. Both of you. You're welcome, Cal. I hope you find what you're searching for. May the Force be with you. And with you.
I will escort you back to the Mantis. So You're not joining us? I cannot. Ah, Cal. I was hoping we could speak about something. There is a site, quite an ancient one at that, in the northern desert. I visited it during my early days on Jetta, before the Empire's presence grew. What kind of site? One built by those who revered Force users. We know little about them, but I found the experience quite fascinating. Perhaps you will too. I'll check it out. Cal, my friend, have you made the acquaintance of Sister Task? Don't think I have. You ought to introduce yourself. She's our chief archivist, and though I doubt she'd admit it, she seems eager to meet you. I'll stop by. Very good. Uh, just remember to mind your manners. She's Narcus through and through. Cordova said he found you while he was seeking other Jedi survivors. Yes. Hard to believe that fate brought us together once again after all this time. Could have used that luck when we were hunting for the Holocron. I know. Luck or fate. I'm just happy my master is alive and here with us. Yeah. And determined as ever to tend to the Jedi legacy and resist the Empire. Have a look around the Archive, Cal. We'll talk later. So where are we headed first? Back to Kobo? Or its moon? Let's hit the moon laboratory first. Alright. Maybe we can find something there to help us cross the abyss. Ready to roll out when you are. Glad you didn't have to fly through that storm. So, how's it feel to be piloting the Mantis again? Like being home. Then why the long face? Ah, it's been too long. My pilot instincts are all off. I know how hard it is trying to relearn skills you put to the side. I guess so, huh? Still, I regret ever walking away from the Manus. Keep thinking I'm gonna slip up. You walked away when you needed to. I know you'll pick it back up in no time. Okay, okay. You're a good friend, Cal. This new arm is gonna make piloting a little different. But I'll get there. I hope. There is only the Force. Sister, were you persuaded by the Fifth Corollary? Persuaded? Perhaps not, though I was moved. The poetry was inspired. Tragically, it failed, fatally, to present a consistent ontology. Hmm. I may need to revisit it.
so good to see you, Meryn. What brings you to Jeddah? I came across a group during my travels. Their goal is to hide Force sensitives from the Empire. Have you ever heard of the Hidden Path? Hail, Jedi Knight. I am called Sister Task. I'm Cal. Word of your arrival has spread quickly, Noble One. Master Junda holds you in high esteem. Seer and I have been through a lot together. Jeddah is brimming with lost artifacts related to your order, among other traditions. Should you happen upon any scrolls or other objects of interest, I would gladly exchange some of the treasures I've unearthed for them. I'll let you know if I find anything. We are in your debt, Noble One. Seer tells me you were trained in the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Up until I became Master Paul's Padawan. Then we went off to serve in the Clone Wars. Do you think of your life on Coruscant much? Sometimes, it's like a dream. And yet it is not. That life, it's so long ago. So much has happened since then. Most days it feels like it happened to someone else. I think I understand a little. Thank you. It was not my intention to bring up bad memories. It's okay, sister. I meant to ask. You are curious to learn more about the masked hermits helping your mentor, hmm? I am. We are the Narcus Anchorites. We study and venerate the Force as it manifests through knowledge. You're scholars? We gather knowledge, much like other scholars, yes. But our labor is driven by the belief that knowledge expresses universal truth. Through wisdom, we seek to perceive the formless pattern of the Force. Do you understand? I understand describing the Force as a formless pattern. Although, that isn't my perception of it. Indeed. Nor do we experience the Force as you do, Noble One. Treasure for wisdom, young sage. A remarkable piece. Could use this. That was fated for you. Alluring, no? Done. The wisdom you've recovered is a boon to us all. Stay curious, always. You're the Traveler. Have you found any systems outside the Empire's reach? Not that I have come across. There are countless ruins scattered across the High Desert. One of them could be a perfect safe house for the path.
I suppose you have both studied Oisin's lemma? Yes, sister. Indeed, sister. Then perhaps you will explain to me the paradox of the fifth book. Oisin explores the antinomy of enlightenment. It's a paradox about the inevitability of cycles. Hmm. Explain. Enlightenment is defined as cycle-breaking. But, per the canons, to be enlightened is to suffer the cycle. The more we strive to break the cycle, the more we embody it. But in accepting it, we become enlightened, thereby breaking the cycle. Indeed. And what do you make of this? I think the meaning is clear. You can't reason your way to true enlightenment. Ah. The lemma has confounded scholars for centuries, but to you its meaning is clear. I... well, recall the canons. There is no truth but the truth of all things. There is no knowledge but the force of all others. Brother, perhaps you should revisit the fifth book. And while you're there, revisit the preceding books as well. Yes, sister. Terminal will have to wait. I've had this since I started freelancing. It's gotten me out of some bad situations, and I figured it might do the same for you. It's Marin, right? Well, I could get another one, if you think you might want it. No need. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you, you're good. Okay. My master always frowned upon using blasters. You once said it wasn't the weapon that makes you a Jedi. It's us against the galaxy, Cal. We've got to use every advantage we can find against the Empire. Thanks, Bo. Now, I'll show you how to use it. Stay still. Oh. Gotta start somewhere. There you go. Not bad, Jedi. So, how long have you been working for Seer? I do not work for Seer. Right. Relax, guys. Really giving it to that dummy. Cal does not like stormtroopers. Who does? Impressive. I think you got it, Cal. <laughs> <laughs> 